Hey everybody. So today we are making a self-heating hot pot. This boils its own water. It's crazy cool. Um, hopefully I'm not a dumb bitch like the first time I made one of these and I made a huge mess. one actually has like some poorly translated English directions on it so hopefully I'll be able to follow those somewhat this is like non refrigerated I don't know I don't think this actually has meat in it I don't know how they would do that but it has pictures of meat it says it's capsation 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 capsaicin how do you say it capsaicin capsaicin yeah capsaicin hot pot which I assume it's just their like auto translate version of spicy because capsaicin is the thing that like makes your tongue hot hot hot. Gift sanitary wipes the mints garbage bags. What? Does this have all that in it? Let's just open it. So usually these have like you have the big bin here, um, and then there's like a bin that goes on top that everything cooks in and the water boils underneath. And there's a little vent in the middle. If I can get it open. Oh wow, there's so much in here. Hold, oh my god, it does come with like a mint. I think these are like little sanitary wipes for after. And a garbage bag for your trash. That's so cute. Thank you for giving me a garbage bag so I don't make a mess if I ate this in public, I guess. I guess that's the idea because you can eat it anywhere because it has this little pack that when you pour water over this, it heats up. Caution, prohibit eating, prohibit hot water, be away from fire. <laughs> it's just like when you throw like sodium or like magnesium into uh, water, you know, it explodes. This is like a slower version of that reaction. So we have whatever this is. We have this black stuff. And oh, this, this is Lotus. This, I don't know. Seaweed. Uh, no idea. Scary looking. Oil mixture. And noodles. Ugh, it does not look good. No, 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 no. and our sauce that hopefully makes everything better and tasty. It's gonna be oily. Ah, oh, it just looks like poop coming out. After you eat too much Taco Bell. Oh, and it kind of, it smells weird and bad. I have two cups of water here. I just am going to put in enough to cover the the pack. To submerge it kind of. I hope I hope that's not too much. Shit. I don't want to repeat it last time. Um Okay, this fits in here nicely with that amount of water. I can already hear it like starting the bubble. So we cover it tightly and we come back in 15 minutes. Okay, see you guys then. All right, so this has been boiling away for 15 minutes. Oh, it's super hot. Ah. <laughs> How are you supposed to? Jesus.
Everything seems nice and soft. I don't know how to safely do this. Uh, oh, oh! Fuck me. Now this is still reacting and giving off heat, so I'm just gonna set it back in my sink. And we'll let that like finish reacting and wear itself out so I don't set my trash on fire. Nice, I can just throw this in the provided trash bag. It actually smells kind of good now and peppery. And these noodles are weird as hell. And a little gummy and stuck together. It's not a great sign, but... I'm not sure if this is actually going to be any good whatsoever. Whoa, just like check out. Look at these noodles. And these tiny chopsticks. I'm not used to... These are hard to use. Hmm. Yeah, that noodle is actually really good. So what? What in the world is this? I have a weird... Is this tripe? Is this stomach lining or intestine or something? I'm going to eat it and find out later. It actually tastes kind of good in the sauce. I don't like the chewiness, but... Okay, the vegetable's okay. You can just hear the water boiling behind me. I don't know why they put like so much reactant in there that it can just keep going. Does not seem safe. You think it would be designed to like run out, you know, I guess it has to boil the water really fast, so maybe that's why they have to put a bunch in there. But because you would think you want it to run out once it's done cooking this. It says it was spicy, which when you know an Asian thing says spicy. As a Westerner, you know to like be afraid, but. It's hot, but I wouldn't call it spicy, spicy. Even by my, you know, low white man standards. These glass noodles are good though. And the sauce is like incredibly tangy and sharp. Flavors that you don't usually get in Western cooking. That's part of the fun. Mm. The lotus is crispy. I'm pretty sure this is tripe in here. Because it's so bumpy. Mmm. Choose not to think about it, or try not to think about it. If you guys like the idea of these like self-feeding hot pots, or you want to like take them to work or on a trip or camping or something, uh, I'll put a link down below where you can find a bunch of different kinds to like go buy. I usually just get mine at like uh, they have them at the Asian grocery stores around me, but here in New York City. Like out in Flushing, Queens. Um, Lotus is such an interesting thing. Uh, but you can order a ton of them off of Amazon, of course. We'll check that out below. Check that out below. I 
I wonder if like people in China and Asia actually eat these like this is like an office worker kind of lunch or something. Like we don't have a kitchen and I can't leave my desk right now. I'll just have this kind of thing. Or they use for camping. It's not a lot of food though. I really like those unique noodles. I just wish there were more of them. I gotta figure out what that is real quick. I'll be right back. Oh wow, I missed it. There are English ingredients on the back. Oh my god. Sweet potato noodles. That's what those are. Sweet potato noodles. Okay, that looks really cool. Bamboo shoots. Yeah. Okay, kelp. Yep. That was delicious. Lotus, potatoes, lettuce. Cone jack. What is cone jack? I really don't know what this is. I have no idea. I just like konjac. I have no idea. Pretty good though. But now I'm still hungry. Also, I'll go eat something else. Thanks for watching, guys.